Hi, let me demonstrate how to integrate a Microsoft Teams call and a Google Meet session into a Blackboard Learn course. So we uh, now can uh, work with uh, Google uh, Meet uh, sessions as well as uh, Microsoft uh, Teams inside of the course and uh, the integration is uh, based on uh, creation of uh, links inside of uh, the course. Now let's start with uh, the Google Meetup and uh, it is very important to first log in to Google with your institutional account. So you might be logged in uh, with your personal account into Google. If that's the case the Meet integration will not work because it does require the institutional uh, integration. So now that I'm logged in to Google with my institutional account, I will go ahead and go under Build Content and then select Google Meet. This allows me then to configure the details of my new uh, Meetup. Now here's where I get to choose a title. So and uh, I can select the dates. We can modify them later uh, so uh, we don't have to uh, set uh, the exact dates right now. And we'll go ahead and provide some kind of a description perhaps. Uh, uh, there we go. Now, at this time, the uh, integration will uh, place our link right inside of the course. Now notice that it says that the item is not available. It's actually best to go in and edit this link to ensure uh, a smooth operation. And, and I'll explain uh, here in, in just a moment. If I was to click on this link right now as the instructor, uh, notice that it's going to attempt to open in the same window. And so uh, we have this kind of a confusing uh, picture of uh, uh, you know, complicated uh, URL. So to uh, help students avoid this scenario, we'll go inside of the link to edit it and we are going to uh, make some selections such as open in a new window. Both for the Microsoft Teams integration and the Google Meet, it's important to go back to the link and then open it in a new window to avoid that uh, preview uh, site. So now we can go ahead and uh, perhaps backdate the uh, opening of the link. When it comes to the closing date, it is important to set one because if you copy this course in the future to a new semester, you want the old links to be not available. Uh, there might be content of, of from other students that are, that are saved within uh, these sessions. So it's probably best to have an expiration date on that. And so we can edit our descriptions and so forth. I'll go ahead and press submit. And at this point, my Meet, when I click on it, will open in a new window without that preview and it will load up my um, Google settings. So now let's go ahead and look at the Microsoft Teams integration. In order to start Microsoft Teams meeting, we actually have to go to Course Tools and then to Microsoft Teams. So this is uh, not a content tool. This is a simply course tool. So it will be in the left navigation menu. We'll go ahead and select that. And uh, we're asked to uh, log into Teams. And then we'll create a link. Uh, so we'll give uh, our link a title. Again, set the dates although the dates can be adjusted later. And then we'll go ahead and uh, create the link. Now at this point, um, there is uh, uh, this kind of additional requirement that you click Add to Calendar. Uh, you have to click that, otherwise the link will not be created in your course. So we'll go ahead and click that. And so it does say that uh, Clipboard now has the information and the course outline was populated. So that's what we were looking for. Now that uh, the uh, course uh, does have uh, the link, the homework session, I can go ahead and click on it to test it. And as you can see, same behavior with this kind of a preview screen. This is done so that uh, the pop-up is generated with the user's click 
and not just automatically. And so we'll correct that behavior by going back to the team link and uh, by making sure that it opens in a new window. Again, we can modify the dates as needed and then we can go ahead and submit that, which will produce uh, a well-working uh, video call uh, inside of Microsoft Teams. Now, one last uh, comment, that is, when you create the Microsoft Teams link, I'm going to uh, quickly run through one more. Uh, it's important uh, to uh, perhaps uh, preview the options for the meeting itself. So when we press Create here, we have Meeting Options. Now, this Meeting Options link is going to allow us to adjust the Teams meeting itself. So not just the link, but the Teams meeting itself. And so you might find this uh, to be uh, beneficial. This integration works exactly the same way in an Ultra course. Under Books and Tools, we have uh, uh, configuration of our LTI tools. And this is where we can select either Microsoft Teams or Google Meet and follow the same prompt for configuring these links, which then become part of uh, the course uh, content. Well, this was just a short presentation about how to integrate uh, the Google Meet system and Microsoft Teams uh, inside of uh, Blackboard Learning. Thank you.